Need a light?
Well then, what next? Time to get down. It's over. Much longer till Xanarkand. Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the temple of Makalania. Oh boy. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. We can't just skip all that, can we? Huh? Mm -mm. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. New guy. Me? Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about Sin and Jet. Huh? You know her. She would distance herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah, you have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jekt? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> maybe even a little now. 
Just a little. Hey! I still don't buy your story, you hear? Yuna, it is good to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. Ah. <sighs> we escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Of all our chocobos, only this one made it. We make pretty poor chocobo-mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This... This is our just reward. Is that the Jose Temple? The Lightning Mushroom Rock. It only opens when a summoner is addressing the faith. That means another summoner's already in there. Another summoner? What if it's Donna? We have to hurry. Right! In we go! I found him. He was torn in half. I... That idiot. What? What do I do now? I can't do this. I'm going back to Bisset. your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner. Like you. I'm Bussy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. 
I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. Hey, you. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey. I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. Will do. Passe! Oh, what? We're leaving! Be right there! See ya! The Cloister of Trials lies within. Are you prepared? All right! Guardians, at attention! We are ready. All right. Let's do it.
Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Well, well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are... are it, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Arin. No, Sir Arin. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough! Get back here! Hang in there, buddy! Eh? <laughs> Quite the show, ya? Yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. Pick spot. Shut up. Wait. You should try to settle down. You know we'll be blamed if anything happens. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. Guardians. And Sir Oren, too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. No matter how dark the night, morning always comes, and our journey begins anew. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Get ready for the journey ahead. Donna has left. Isaru too. She was working until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now, then. <sighs> ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. 
Oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> <laughs> You too, Sir Oren? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come.
Summoner Yuna, ready. Day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. My name's Yuna. Pleased to meet you.
thinking of going to Guado Salam. I have not spoken with a Guado for some time. One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear, never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari, lost his horn, next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari, howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> Do those two, uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But, uh... It's Kimari's problem. We can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Who? Oh. Confident. Yeah! Dreams. We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehin. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. 
I propose a contest of aeons. A friendly contest, of course. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your aeons. Well, shall we? Call whichever Aeon you want. Don't hold anything back. Show me what you've learned. Stop. That is enough. You're good. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. I look forward to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna.
go, go! Wow! This is the moon flow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. Is a shoe puff. Whoa! 
Let's ride. Come on, let's go. All right. We board soon as we ready, huh? Puffs. I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoe puff shook. Yuna fall in water. Shoe puff scoop up Yuna with long nose. Yuna jump in three more times for fun. Kimari worried. Whoops. Yuna had fun. Kimari happy. Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jack never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. No, I don't think so. It's bad idea, yes. Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Yeah, hey, I didn't say that. Just... <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right? right. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous shoe puff? Pity. Right. 
rides the shoe puff? All aboard! Shoe puff launching! Hey. Huh? Take a look. What? Whoa! A sunken city. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended, and our reward was sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Ugh. What could that be? Sit down. Sorry. Ah! The Albed.
Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. <sighs> ah, those out bed. Is everybody okay? I I'm sorry, we're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Shoot a full speed ahead. Damn the out bed. What do they want from us? Do they have something to do with Luca? What do they have the uniform? Wait, they're mad they lost the tournament. Oh wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. I wonder, didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Albeda behind that? Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. <sighs> Oh, Walker, at your service.
great meeting? You're not dead? Uh, huh? Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh, that Machina? That was you? Mm-hmm. Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> w wait, but you attacked us! Nuh-uh. It's not exactly what you think. Yo! Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. Ah. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Ah. Sir Oren, I would like Riku to be my guardian. Show me your face. Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway... Can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. Mm. Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Right-o. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. What's inside? Should know. I'm scary when I get mad. I'm gonna use that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry.
you just do? That was great! I can combine items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. You gotten any better? Just watch. We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. 
Of course, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. What would you do without me? Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Pity, suit yourself.
Thank ye. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, though. No. Don't you know? The last leader... Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. Stay close to Yuna. I wonder what smells so nice. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Why does he want to see me? Why does he want to see me? This way, please. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. What could it be? Oh... Kimari, speak no more. There's no temple here in Guadasalam, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing, then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Well... There are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkand is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think, either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? 
Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trommel. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity.
Wow, your face is beet red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No, all summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. <sighs> we will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way! We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this. But I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat Sin. Like Braska before you. <sighs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the Far Plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him?
Question. About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. What the? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> Wh what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me? With Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women 
might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? That... I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's Sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Ah. Uh, I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so, so I, told I told him what I thought of him right, right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she, she all right? right? Why should you care? If she, if she dies, dies, I wouldn't know, know what, what to do. do. Don't, Don't say, say Mom, Mom is gonna, gonna die. die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a, sec, a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. You'll, You'll cry, cry if you don't. don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. <gasps> Lord Jiska! Oh, Lord Jiska! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Lord 
Jiskel. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? I don't understand how a man like Lord Disco can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. I will go. Meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um... What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But... If Eunice said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. Interesting. I suppose I could add you to my list. I wish you good luck, little boy. You're going to need it. Here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? I can't stand thunder! I can't stand thunder! Guado potions good. Buy some before leaving.
I'm a little worried about Lord Jiskal. I wonder if Maester Seymour has heard. Leave the Guado's problems to the Guado, they say. <sighs> Leave the Guado's problems to the Guado, they say. The Lady Summoner not with you? No. She's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! Jisco, please tell me, what can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! They say Seymour went to Macarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. We're supposed to cross that. See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. Ah! I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go.
Well then, what next? Saving this one for you! It's over! Hello there. Would you like to hear about this place? Very well. Let me tell you about the crossing. A long time ago, this place was a traveler's nightmare. Plains of lightning, plains of thunder. Those who cross are torn asunder. Or so they used to say. Then a man by the name of Bilgen appeared. Using Machina, he built towers that served as lightning rods across the plains. Finally, travelers were able to cross in safety. Bilgen was building that tower over there. When he was struck and killed by lightning. that Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. 
Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. <gasps> oh, really? I see. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spira. Oh. Easy win, yeah? So... Whoa! Oh. Whoa! That was a close one! <laughs> Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me the creeps. Whoa! I want to go home. I hate lightning. I hate thunder. Let's go rest over there, please. This storm never stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? Uh. Pretty please? Just a few minutes. I'm scared of lightning. Let's rest, please. Pretty please. I'm too young to die. You're mean. Cruel. Your moms would be ashamed of you. Are you having fun doing this to me? Fine. We rest. She's worse than the storm. I'm... a little tired. Do you have a room available? Ah, Lady Summoner. Yes, just over that way. Thank you. 
Uh, Yuna? It's not like her. Are you that scared? <laughs> when I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <laughs> but he missed and hit me instead! It was a thunder spell! <laughs> Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells too. Ah! Hmm. Maybe later. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. Mm. How goes your study of our language? That is good to hear. Allow me to present you with this book for your study. I wonder, would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. Sir Orden! I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. Maester Seymour and his And the Maester is- Excuse me, where did you hear that? The Guado are telling ev- Oh, they are, are they? Pretty please? Just a few minutes? Well, it's nothing really. I I just uh, um uh, 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 I I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, 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 hey, wasn't that that uh, just called Guado guy? The sphere is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. His son, Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. Huh? What do you think you're up to? You know, you know was acting funny. Yeah, so, so, yeah. 
she'll tell us when yeah, she's ready, so hold uh, your uh, chocobos uh, till then. Yeah. Uh, 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 all right, all right, all right. not stopping, is it? She's not going to move unless we do something. If it's okay with Riku, shall we go? It's not stopping, is it? Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Fine. Stay here. All right already. But... You didn't have to say it like that, you know. You could be more comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? Hey! Are you listening?
ask for it! Everyone, wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. Here? We're almost out of here! Let's go! I have to say it now. Over there. Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. I've... decided to marry. I thought so. <gasps> but... but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future, and Yevon's unity. 
I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear! Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but this is... It is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? As you wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Uh, uh... Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Don't know. But I think it is the right thing to do. Okay, I guess. Uni! Quiet! I wish we could help somehow. Some way. It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Yuna can talk with Seymour there. We Guardians will wait until they're done, and plan our next move. Understood?
you're worried about Yuna. <sighs> of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be... In exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? <laughs> She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. Huh. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. Hmm. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go.